So this is part two of my teen pregnancy video. Um, so for me, um, having a child at such a young age, I felt like it was the normal. You know, I had no other life, you know, experiences besides that. You know, I was barely a teenager, and here I have a newborn, you know, a baby. Um, so a lot of people always ask me that. How did I handle it? What did I do? I had to go through counseling at the doctor's office because of the whole suicidal thing. Um, but everything turned out fine. I, let's see, I stayed at home. Um, I couldn't work because I wasn't even legal age of working. Um, so his, you know, my son's father worked and um, we did have public assistance. We got WIC and I think that's all I got. Um, so that helped pay for formula and stuff like that. So my son's father and my mom helped pay for diapers and things like that. Um, so when I turned 17, I moved out and my mom helped me get my own apartment. Um, I was going to school. Um, I went back to high school that following year, my ninth grade year. Um, and I um, moved out my senior year. So I was going to my senior year, living on my own. Um, we, I stayed with my son's father for about nine months after we had Zachary. Um, he was, oh, he's such, I don't know, what's the word? He's conceited. Um, I guess you would say he thinks he's God's gift to women. He's far beyond that. Um, so, and he cheated on me like five times during my pregnancy. We, we broke up and then we got back together right after he was born and then we stayed together for nine months. And at that point I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't stand, you know, our relationship. And I knew it wasn't good for Zachary. Um, so, uh, I don't think I was really receiving child support yet, but I was living on my own. I worked part-time. I was still receiving child support for myself. My father was still paying child support because I wasn't 18 yet. Um, so I received that. My mother went ahead and gave that to me, so that helped pay for my rent. Um, and all I had to do was buy groceries and pay the electric bill and um, gas in my car and stuff like that. So I, went to, I graduated high school with like a 3.4 GPA, I think. Um, Zachary was four years old when I graduated. And... Um, I think that's one of the biggest accomplishments. A lot of people say that they graduated high school, um, but for me, graduating high school was a huge accomplishment. Uh, a lot of people that get pregnant at a young age don't even go back to school. They just kind of throw their hands up and say, I'm done with it, you know, I'll do whatever I can, you know. I made sure I did because so many people said, she's not going to finish school, she's not going to graduate. Um, and once I did, we made sure that we rubbed it in all those people's faces that just didn't believe in me. Family included that didn't believe. Um, but teen pregnancy is not, I, I don't think the, the world and the government and society, I don't think they do it enough, you know, what they should be doing about it. Um, when I, while I was pregnant, my father told me that um, I should have an abortion. He gave me like two or three options. He told us one that we sh I should have an abortion and um, we can tell my friends that I found on the stairs. Um, I was against abortion even at 13. I knew what it was and I was refusing it. I'm not killing a live human being, no matter the size of what they are. Um, he also said that um, he has two sisters. He said that once I had the baby that we could give one of them, give Zachary to one of them, and then they would raise him. And I did not want to do that. I don't get along with that side of my family. So he also said, suggested to my mom that I go to what's called the Liberty Godparent Home. The Liberty Godparent Home is um, part of Liberty University, Thomas River Baptist Church. I don't know if anybody's heard of that. They have that Jerry Falwell um, did it or something and uh, it's a place where teen moms go and they stay there and they live there um, while they're pregnant and I think a little while is ways afterwards um, and it helps place the children into foster care or to adoptive parents um, I did not want to give up my child period so we refused that uh, especially when my mom found out that it was kind of like a prison for pregnant women um, she couldn't come and see me but on selective days she um, couldn't call and talk to me, um, you know, they had like visiting hours, just like, you know, people that are in prison do, and I'm 
she refused to do that because I'm pregnant. I didn't do anything wrong. I got pregnant. I didn't do anything, you know, bad wrong. But anyway, so my view on teen pregnancy, I think there's something that needs to be done. I think there's way too many teen pregnancies out there. I think the knowledge um, to kids is, you have like the sex ed class in like fourth grade. I think that's remember when I had it. And it, it showed a vagina and a penis on the wall. It showed you what happened. And that's pretty much it. And I think in ninth grade, in my science class, they showed a, um, a delivery video of a woman giving birth. And at that time, I'd already given birth. So, um, I don't know. I think we should need to educate our kids way more. You know, I think a lot of parents don't really know what's going on in their child's life. Um, with me, I was having sex, and my mom did not know about it. So, I mean... See, partially of me, I know I was doing wrong, but when you don't have discipline in your household, um, I was never disciplined. I never really got grounded. My mom could literally say that she was going to ground me, and I could turn around and say, no, you're not, because I know she wouldn't. Um, and a lot of people don't understand why I think the way we are with our kids. You know, we're not strict, but we make sure that we put down heavy, you know, rules and guidelines. We've had, you know, both me and my husband have been through huge, you know, trials in our life. You know, I got pregnant at a young age, had a child at 14. You know, my husband was in prison for four years. You know, it's, we've both been through stuff and knowing why we've been through this is, you know, the way we were raised. You know, we know that there's a, that you have to find the happy medium. My husband was in a strict, strict household. You know, he had to follow rules and guidelines with me. I could do pretty much whatever I wanted, when I wanted, and how I wanted to. Um, so, I guess this, you know, I want to get this video out just so people know that sometimes these kids aren't doing it you know, just because they're having sex. Sometimes it is an accident, and sometimes it's just the education that we don't have. So don't judge. You know, lend out a hand and help, you know, if you see a teen mother that's pregnant. Um, but I, then again, I don't condone the girls that get pregnant because they're missing a father figure, or they're missing that male figure, or they want a child in their life, because it is very difficult. I mean, I never had the times where I could go out and hang out with friends and stuff because I had a child. And nobody wants to hang out with someone that has a child when you're 15. Um, and the odd thing is now is for us to find people that have children the same age as ours, you know, our 8- and 9-year-old, they're in their 30s and 40s. So now that we've had Noah, we finally can kind of associate with people our age. Um, that have kids, but then our two older kids are just kind of like, we want to find people that we can hang out with and spend time with, but the age difference is huge. Um, so, sorry if this is a little scattered. If you have any questions, um, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, I'm very open with anything and everything, so just let me know. Thanks, guys.